Welcome back to Striker 101 Productions and today I am doing a tutorial on how to get the void or otherwise known as the skull bow. So here we go. And right there's the Wrath of the Ancients bow I've already got in this part. And I got a whole mess of uh, crawlers here. We're going to get the crawlers to follow us and we're going to go do step one. And I'm sure along the way a couple of them will die off or we'll get too far ahead of them. Here they come. And step one of the storm bow is right here. You want to aim, fire. And a broken arrow will drop down out of the ceiling. We'll wait for him to get out of the way. Take the heads off them two runners. There we go. Now well, we got one of them to speed back up. Oh, there we got a fast one now. Get him up here and allow that other one to give us a hit. Okay, now they're both at a, a decent speed. Yeah, there we go. We're on our way to do step two. Now this this part here is easier if they're crawlers. And you need at least two. That way you don't start a new round right afterwards. So you want to leave yourself either two crawlers or two zombies. Um, it's not that you need crawlers to do step two. It's just easier to do step two if you have crawlers. Because it involves um, meleeing, a melee kill. We're going to get down here. And in this upper courtyard, where you find piece two of the shield, right outside the room with the second dragon, is this room. This is the Void Bow Ritual Room. And see the pink mist around this tile? Well, you want to, it doesn't matter. It could be a walker, crawler, what have you. I prefer crawlers, they're easier. And you may lay them right over that tile. And it'll break open and there's an urn in there. Walk up to it and hit square. And it says, gather that which is scattered. Which, what is scattered is six skulls. And I'm going to show you the location. The first one is down in here with Mjolkek. And it is right here. Now, this zombie here, I could care less if he, you know stays a crawler or becomes a runner or whatnot because we're just going to go around collecting the skulls. The next one's outside and up these stairs and it's right here on this windowsill. Now we're going to head over to Samantha's room. 
and it's in Samantha's toy box is where the next skull is. You come oh He snuck up on me out of nowhere. And here it is. Now right outside double tap will be the fourth skull. And it's right up on the ledge right here. Avoid that zombie. Like he's got the damn plague. Well, he does have the plague. But we're going to run in here and grab a juggernaut real quick. Because I'm tired of uh, getting beat up by zombies. Now in here, you bear to the right and there's a sink right here. Skull number five is in that sink. And we're off launch pad and that's where the sixth and final skull is. What is group nine three five trying to do on the moon? And it's over here in the back end of this truck. And it's right there. And we're gonna run up here. Get pack a punch done up. And go over here. Activate this launch pad. And we don't need him no more. Holy crap. I think a new round has started. Yeah. But what we're going to do here. So we're going to go out through here. And we're going to go up through the launch pad here. And see this gobble gum I got here on the screen, that's what they call a crawl space. We're going to train up a bunch of zombies here. Then we're going to just chew that gobble gum and make them all crawlers. So hopefully every zombie in this round I can get out here at one time. Get them right here next to me. There we go. Now I want to watch though because they all then turn into crawlers. Because I really didn't hear what the voice said, the knight's names that he gave me. What I can do is use the bow, aim at the urn, and you shoot the urn again and it'll give you the names again. Door, Stag, and Crown. Now what you do is you come up here to the knight's room, which is just off the power switch room, and find the knights. Now their name is right below them. That's Hart. That's Griffin. There's Dor. Oh. 
I'm like the Robin Hood of explosions. Here's Stag. And here's Crown. Now, this part here, those three symbols are the symbols you want to get. Now, this is easy, but yet not easy. You want to train up a whole big group of zombies and then shoot them all at once. The most kills you, you can get at one time, the better chance you are of getting one of those symbols. Now, there's a total of six symbols. There's six knights. And uh, we're just training up some zombies right now. And there, I got one of the symbols I needed. Now, I didn't want to hit that, that's for sure. And there, I wanted to get that 400 points at the end of the round. <laughs> And what we'll do is we'll go outside here and train zombies outside. And if you come in the night's room, it'll show them the, the symbols that you've gotten already will be filled in on the floor. Once you see that one of those symbols come up, you got to run into it and grab it real quick before. It disappears. There we go. And there we go, we got his name. The skulls will disappear, they'll fly up and go into the urn. And the urn will go back down into the hole. And what you do is walk up to it, hit square, and that broken arrow that you got in step one will go into the hole and it'll come out a whole arrow. Now what you do now is you go down into the pyramid room. And you place this arrow into the chest for the void bow. And see, we're only on level 10, and I'm doing this all by myself. And here's the void bow chest. Now, anywhere within, around this, up to the third step, it doesn't matter anywhere in here. Up to the third step, if you kill a zombie, because that's a step now. You gotta kill zombies and put zombie souls into this chest. Like all the other bows. Here's the storm bow. This is the wolf bow. And over here is fire bow. But um, all in all the, the void bow 
takes the most souls. It's the one, uh, the one time it took me like a round and a half, two rounds, to get enough souls in there in order to be able to turn this bow into the void bow. But now all we got to do is wait and here he comes. I was going to say wait for the zombie to get here and it's taking him forever. But see, he's over here. Wow. I took a lot of melee strikes to get him. We'll just wait for the zombies to come back and we'll uh, train them up, get them inside there. a bad time for that to run out. Put, you walk up to it, press square, put your bow in, walk up to it when it, the bow pops out, and my shield just broke. But anyways, we're going to launch this here in a second, show you what it does. Creates that void and them skulls fly around and bite the heads off the zombies. We're going to go get double tap. We're going to play around with this bow for a while so y'all can see what it does. Uh-oh. Dang it. The void bow takes out the... It takes out the Panzer pretty quick. Not as quick as the Storm bow, though. The skulls float around and they kill all the zombies within range. On PS3 version of Black Ops 3, this was my favorite bow. On the PS4 version here, I prefer the Storm Bow. And I did a live stream tutorial for that uh, day before yesterday. We're just going to shoot. Well, no. We'll just show you what it does with a quick shot. Hey, Freak Bats, I got a newer way to kill you. But. Yeah, that's the easy way to get the storm bow. <clears throat> I mean,
mean the void bow. What was I thinking, storm bow? We're going to train up a whole bunch of these zombies here real quick. There we go. Every zombie out in this courtyard will get eaten. We'll train them up again. Oh yeah, they don't like them skulls. Skulls bite their heads right off. And I apologize for my dog barking the whole time. They're working on my roof. So she thinks she's got to sit there because she hears them up on the roof bark and bark the whole time. We'll get a bunch of them trained up here again. Yeah, I think that's enough. already have a tram fuse, so I don't need another one. We're going to run right through that. Ooh, it's electrifying. We're going to go down here and pack a punch my gun. No, we're not. Not yet. Oh, yeah, we are. my gun damn it all because like no nope, I got it back yes yeah. and see it's killing zombies clear up here Sixteen. And see, that's how many drag. You can tell how many dragons you got done. They'll light up around the base, and the faces will light up. Guys are running fast now. Not fast enough. Hey, I made a little something for you. <laughs> they walk straight into our 
But the ones actually right there in the void, they they get like obliterated like right off the bat. And I do believe this is Panzer Round. And I'll know here in a second. Yep. There he is. And that was it. Three arrows destroyed the Panzer. Oh! Come on, zombies. Play nice. Ooh, they, they're getting brave. And ba-boom. Bye-bye, zombies. And that's how it's done. Typically, if I get like the storm bow or the whoop bow, I leave this barrier here. Oh yeah, fetch me their souls. Mm -hmm. Damn doggy doggies. But that void will uh and skulls will eat the dogs too. And there's my uh max ammo right there. Never turn down a free reload. This corpse just went to his knees. Ha! Huh? Pretty much now that I got the bow, being that I'm all by myself, it's just pretty much running around, just killing as many zombies as I can, see how far I get. They think swatting at the skulls is going to save them. <laughs> but I think the next tutorial video I'm, I'm going to do, I worked third shift last night. I haven't been to bed yet, and here it is. Oh, I think it's like after 1 o'clock in the afternoon here. I don't know. I don't have a clock here. <laughs> but, yeah, I haven't been to sleep yet. I'm getting tired. But I think I'm going to try and do the Wolfo tutorial next in the next video here.
Oh. We're going to play around with this for a while. And see, because they're running in a line, they run right through that void. And with each bite that one of them skulls takes out of a zombie, I get 50 points. So look at it. I was at like uh, 15,500 just a minute ago. Now I almost jumped 3,000. Okay, now that was pretty damn cool. Yeah, it was, Dempsey. The zombie just totally vanished into nothing. I think round 23. Uh, the Panzer comes back again for the last time. Oh, Hellhound. Oh! See, my problem is, is they just broke my shield. Get me some double tap and some uh, stamina. I'll be good to go. Yep, 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 yep. Zombie, 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 zombie everywhere. We're going to go call the gondola. I gotta go buy all them perks again. I think really all in all, the only one I'm gonna buy is a uh, stamina, or I mean a uh, juggernaut. Double tap. Five 
Bottoms up, Dempsey. around and open up gates and stuff like that and try to earn some liquid divinium. We need to get another fuse or something to power up uh, cause I'm almost out of arrows. Yeah, rarely you do get yourself blocked into a even. I think it sure is ugly. Or do you got hung up on something and it happens, especially with being as tired as I am. And I think this is a panther room. Yep. There he is. Oh, that better not be what I think it is. And this is probably the end. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them. Nope. I escaped. Escaped out. And train up the last of these zombies. I shot that in a six, group of six of them and it just sort of like obliterated all of them at once. But I've never seen a Panzer above round 23-24 so that's probably the last one. up the next group. But yes, with practice, anybody can get, you know, I'm all by myself and look, I'm almost round 25. And there we go. Made it to round 24, almost round 25, and I finally went down. 61,250 points, 790 kills. So, all in all, that's, it's not really a bad game. But, I hope this tutorial helps you out. If you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. I read all comments, and I will respond back. Please subscribe to Striker101. Also, share this video on all your social media. Tell all your friends about Striker 101 Productions. Get them to join up.
and uh, you know subscribe as well click the little notification bell next to the subscribe button that way you get notified every time I upload a new video or live stream um, let's get this channel to grow please help me make it grow and like I said I can I reply to all comments so you know you leave a comment I'm gonna look at it I'll leave a like on your comment and I'll reply back to it until next time see ya and there we go I leveled up in that one and I'm probably yep halfway to the next level but all in all, this has been a good video, and I hope it helps you out. But I'll see you later.